Hello and welcome to another popular tutorial video. Today we're going to have a look at bulk synchronous parallel computer execution on the IPU. So first of all, what does bulk synchronous parallel actually mean? So bulk synchronous parallel or BSP algorithms are parallel computational algorithms which run in three main phases. We have compute, synchronize and exchange. Compute is where we do our mathematical computations. The synchronize phase is where we check that all threads have finished executing and are ready to move into the exchange phase. The exchange phase is where data is transferred, ready for the next round of compute. Benefits of a BSP algorithm are that it's easy to program, there are no live locks or deadlocks, and we avoid the case where two parallel threads are trying to write to the same memory address at the same time, causing race conditions. Typically, BSP algorithms run on large compute clusters made up of many, many CPUs. However, the IPU is the world's first BSP processor, where such an algorithm can run entirely on a single chip. So in terms of BSP computes that execute on the IPU, this runs in three steps. First, we have an exchange phase where inputs are transferred from different tiles on the IPU to the tile where the vertex is going to run. Vertices on the respective tiles then all run in parallel. And afterwards, we have another exchange where the outputs are then transferred to other tiles where there may be inputs to more vertices. In between these steps, we have syncs to make sure that all of the threads that are running have now finished and any exchange code is generated by Poplar in the background. BSP computes execution also works across multiple IPU devices. Here we have inter-IPU sync and also intra-IPU sync. These phases ensure that there's no live or deadlocks or race conditions, and we can have one IPU performing some computation while the other IPU is in a sync state, and we can also have syncs between tiles on different devices as well. Tiles that are exchanging data with the host can abstain from syncing with other tiles, as we see in the diagram on the right, we can have tiles in a compute phase at the same time as other tiles copying data to and from the host. For each compute set, each tile will have a number of vertices to execute. And of course, we need many vertices to take advantage of the large number of tiles on the IPU. All tiles start by syncing. Once all of these tiles have synced, we know everything's ready to go. The tiles then move to the exchange phase. This is required so that vertex input data can be copied between tile memory to be in the right place. Tiles will then move to a compute phase once the exchange is finished. During the compute phase, vertices will read from and write to only their own local tile memory. And we see here, the inputs A and B are fed into a vertex on tile one and the output C. All of this is stored in the local memory on tile one. Each tile processor has several independent hardware threads called workers and these execute the code. Once exchange is complete, the hardware scheduler, known as the supervisor, dispatches vertices onto the workers to run. The tiles will run all vertices and then sync. Okay, so hopefully during this video you've learned a little bit more about bulk synchronous parallel compute set execution on the IPU. For more videos like this and for developer resources, go to graphcore.ai/developer. And thank you very much for watching.